Hello everyone, my name is Droogie Forever, and today we're playing The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Uh, this game is, I don't know, 15 bucks, I think. It dropped on the Steam store today, February 19th. And I didn't get this one for free. I actually paid for this one. I know I've been getting a lot of free games lately, but I paid for this one. And uh, it looks pretty good. Let's see if it's any good. I'm going to just keep saying good in all my sentences. My dear Nicole... You... Oh, wait, what? That's not what it says up there. You are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and fair. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy, but remember what Dr. Franklin said after your speech at high school graduation. Faced with the dragon, one must brandish, brandish sword and shield. Sometimes one has to know when to kneel before the dragon. Okay, so maybe it's a continuation. I've always thought of you as a fighter who, faced with the toughest challenges, is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We never talked about what happened with your father, Leonard, but now I need to tell you a few things before this illness separates us. Oh, it looks great so far. Oh, I'm actually moving. This is me. That's interesting. Am I supposed to, like, make my way through these people? The affair your father had with that young woman nine years ago and her ensuing suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in that moment. My father no longer exists for me. I can only trust my mother. That your father had irreparably betrayed our trust and that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. I was there. I've always been there. When you dislocated your shoulder at the first game, when you ro sobbed at night in a room you didn't recognize, and when you kissed Duncan Forbes under the Christmas mistletoe in 1985, you marched against abortion in your first year at college. Duncan was a good kid, but even if I've never said so before, I immediately thought you wouldn't have a lot to talk about. Talking is the foundation for every relationship. If you don't talk, you drift apart. There is so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. Oh, back wading through the sea of umbrellas. Move. Move out my way. I never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be free from the past once and for all. That is why I want you to do exactly as I say. Sell our hotel. The hotel was my family's and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena. Helena. Mr. Jenkins, to give you this letter once your father has passed away. I will already be gone long. Take a quick inspection, sign the papers, and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest to the girls and family. Let's end this story once and for all. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birth, but that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for, fighting for, or dying for, believe me. I love you, above all else, your mother, June 24th, 1991. I'm guessing we're at her funeral at the moment? Daughter of the corpse coming through. Make way. Make way. Time to see mom. Uh, those are the weeping angels on the left there. They're all gonna die. It's Doctor Who. We're playing Doctor Who. This is secretly a Doctor Who game. That was a weeping angel statue. Everyone's dead. This is the end of the game. Ah, oh, they lived. Why is it so bright? Can we pause it? No, we cannot. Holy shit! Are you guys seeing that as bright the as me? The weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. 
I'm gonna have to turn brightness down a lot. With above average winds and snowfall, especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. Whew, the that National is bright. Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concern. Oh yeah, that's in the game. To that's the not my monitor. I'm trying to turn it down, and it's just it's not helping. Falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Woo. Lewis and Clout County? That is so bright. I have to turn the brightness of the game down. I mean, unless none of the other scenes are that bright, I guess we don't have to. But we'll see. What is this loading screen? Yep, yep, loading screen. The weeping angels followed us to the hotel. I hope we're supposed to be seeing a black screen at this point. <clears throat> Alright, well now the brightness doesn't look too bad. That's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. Uh, mouse sensitivity needs to go up. Uh, where is it? Sensitivity, let's turn that up a little bit. Let's go 62 and see what that does. Eh, a little bit better. Okay. Toolbox, Leonard's motorcycle, that's my daddy. My daddy. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Oh, daddy, why are you a jerk? Oh, daddy. Alright, this cord goes through there somewhere. Should we go through here? Alright, maybe we'll go over to that door and then it'll tell us. Alright, looks like that leads outside, so probably nothing over there. Nice bright light here, mom's car, level, don't need it for anything looks like, radio, okay, looks like we can't really do much with anything, can't go there, alright, I'll go where we're supposed to go, seems like that's what the game wants me to do. Doesn't the attorney like. said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Oh, sounds like somebody's calling. Where's the phone? I can hear it. Where is it? It's been here. I missed it. Nine one one emergency. How can I help you? What's your emergency? Nine one one. Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? The hell? Mr. McGrath. Hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I... I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh... Very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger, you Portland folks, and only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? <clears throat> The last message. 
We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland to model out this potato head. Come on, let's do this. All right, hold on a second. Sorry, I had to take my medication. All right. Um, so we got to find... Yes, I know. You want me to open the map. Okay. Management key in the master suite, which doesn't appear to be on the main floor. It's on the first floor. All right. Can't go into any of these doors. I don't know why they bothered to create half of them. Anything decent laying here? Nope. All right, so I skipped this when I came in. There's a boot. Boot. Wait, that's the same painting. Hold on. Uh, I guess I can't look at the one behind it. What's this? Indigenous, indigenous snowshoes. All right. It's pretty cool, I guess. All right, I didn't look at any of the other doors in there. Oh, well, I guess we got to. You are here. That's a lot of wilderness. All right, so we went in there, I guess. Now we got to go upstairs over there. What's, or we can go this way, maybe? All right, let's see what's up this way. Oh, wait. Wait, one floor at a time. One, once I start moving, I'm going to start getting lost, probably. So, one floor at a time. Let's search down here first. Then we'll go up. Looks like none of these have keys in them. So, I can hopefully I'm able to get into everything once I get the key from upstairs. Alright, this was the front door traditionally, it looks like. It's very, very snowy outside. Okay, nothing really over there. Another toolbox. I don't know why it lets us look at all these. It won't let us like, open them or anything. Alright, heading upstairs. Doesn't look like there's much here, so... First floor. Cannot go that way. Definitely thought I just heard some children or something. Nothing there. Alright. Master Suite. Another pen. Nothing I can open there except that door, so let's see if any of this is useful. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Bathroom. Toothpaste. Koi get. Hair comb. Toilet sounds like it's running. That's probably costing this place some money. Nice bathtub. Alright. Oh, well, let me go in one random room for whatever reason. World Music Magazine. Uh, we'll go this way first, I guess. Can't go in that one. Nothing there. Can't go in there. Yeah, okay. I heard noise over there. That's another reason I went back. It sounded like somebody was walking or something. Another World Music Magazine. All right, here we go. Pen. Lots and lots of books. All right, let's see. This is to inform you that the nominated personal representative is intended to transfer the property of Leonard McGrath's last will and testament. All right. I guess she had to consent. Uh, expenses and taxes. So, personal representative has to pay all his debt. That's me. 
Lucky Star Cigarettes. String Theory. I like String Theory. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Creation Power and Astrophysics. Understanding the New Mathematics. What was that? Black Hole Astrophysics. Man, it's too bright. Alright, hold on. Let me turn the brightness down a little bit. See if that helps. Now let me look at the back of that book. It's still bright. Holy crap. I hope you guys can see it. I hope you guys can see some of this stuff that's too bright. I've noticed sometimes on the recording it's bright for me, but not, not on the recording when it's done. Calculations about light bulb luminosity it looks like. Not sure why somebody would be trying to calculate that, but okay. So we can pick up lots of stuff, but it doesn't seem like we can take like anything. Alright, we can go in there. Can't go in any of the those. Getting sick of looking at books, so I'm not gonna, not gonna put, pick the rest of them up. Nicole's room. All right. Little pest picks. Little pest picks. What the hell? What does that mean? Those are poems, it looks like, from maybe from Rachel. Leonard has a NASA cup. Big space fan, which is cool. I like space. Big fan. Why would he have spirit communication books, though? That does not belong with everything else in this room. You got science and fiction. The occult. Yeah, some of this stuff is like, what? Buddhism? What's with that, man? Someone's confused. God, everything's here exactly the same as when me and Mom left ten years ago. It's so... Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. Old friend. Is that an Atari controller? I don't know what that is. Rio. Victims in the last three days. The snow plows are ready, but we're waiting for the intensity of the snowfall to get possible blackouts in the more isolated areas. Make sure your generators are in good condition. Stockpiles of fuel. Instructions refrain from going outside unless isolated. Return. Summer of '85. Was well, the summer of 85. Oh, yeah. Was the summer of 85. All right, that's the management key. I'll pick that up. I just want to look at everything else first. What is this? Oh. See, it was too bright. I couldn't see it. I've turned the brightness down on the game and on my... This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. So, what? So I have a key, but it doesn't work? It's not the master key? What? So now what? Now my to-do list is empty. Okay. Well, how did I know that phone was gonna ring? How did I know what that? Is this a joke? Achievement unlocked. Nice to meet you. Hello? C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh this is, um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? 
Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. Uh, but, but the storm... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware... That... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. Uh, I... You... Uh... Bye. I didn't see that hat when we first entered. This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't know that this was here. Got a sponge, got some cleaner. Pluto! Nemo! We got all kinds of stuff. Jenny! Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. What is that? What is this thing? What's in that? A pillow or what is that? What is that? Ew. What is that? Oh, is that is that cat litter? Ugh, that's fucking gross, man. I don't like cats. That is fucking gross. That didn't sound good. Flashlight in here? I might hide in this storage closet. So, what now? Hello? Hey, you still there, Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah, uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy. Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Ah, uh, uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Uh... I don't know how to switch it to the second one. Oh. Uh, yeah? Nicole, uh, uh, listen. If your car uh, breaks down... We can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh... Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! I don't know where I am. What can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. I don't know where I am. I don't know where the freaking car thing is. I can't get through here. This thing won't open. All right. I'm near the kitchen, so this is obviously... I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney oh. will take care of everything. I know where I'm at. Fuck all this. Alright. I know where I'm at now. Okay, we can leave. Alright, it was one of these, right? No, it's not that one. Boiler room. Oh, uh, we don't need that. It's this way. Here we go. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. You sure? Think so. 
Maybe someone... <sighs> no, listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it, I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones, uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place. I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Ugh, oh, fine. I can't go in there. So now what? I have to open the garage door. Oh. Oh, do I? I didn't know that's what we were trying to do. Without my car, how are we... What, what does that matter? Talk to me. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, Tebbit. Uh, the stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look. I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. I haven't heard that name since I left. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. So, now what? To-do list, blank. Hey, uh, found anything useful? No. No keys, no garage door, I can't get out of here without freezing, Christ! It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Oh, thanks, Irving. Just doing my job. Nicole? Yeah? I if I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with a job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, later. I can't believe it. I'm stuck. Shit. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. I was looking around, but the game decided, nope, we're moving on. Moving on to the next day. She slept in her dad's room. I, You know, if I hated it that much here, I'd sleep in the guest room. You know? Hello? Oh, here he is. You still there? No. Is that a joke? Yeah. Well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. I mean, I just wanted to say, you got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Five days might not seem like much, but the Timberline has an age. I don't know. When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself? Um, no. I, I didn't mean... Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I just... I'll call if I need you. All right, so what are we looking for? Uh, it's not on there. Something about the power? 
Why didn't it update? What's down this way? Some more rooms. Yeah. Hey, what's that? Piece of green tape on that one. Irving? It's me again, obviously. I could really use a shower. Sure. You'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my mom never wanted me to go down there, but I loved that place. Full of little spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? People forget what hurts, I think. Never enough, Irving. Never enough. Yeah. <clears throat> well, furnaces are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Is there something else I should know, like, to survive? Well, I don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. Let me guess. Canned beans, right? Bean soup, baked beans, potatoes and beans, bean broth. <laughs> Starving suddenly seems like an acceptable option. Uh, I can't take the flashlight. And I want to open that panel. It won't let me take the freaking flashlight. That's so unfair. Why can't I take it? Alright, so I gotta get to the basement, basically. So, let's figure out how to get there. Ooh, what's back here? This looks interesting. Let's go take a look. Huh. Might have been the hotel in its heyday. Look at all these cracks. Alright, nothing else. That is it. Just a picture. Alright, there's got to be a way to get to the rest of the hotel from here, right? Is this it? Here we go. Alright. Now, well, basement. What is that? Dining room. Irving? Are you at the furnace? He's waiting for me. He's down there. What? What? Uh, who? Old farting ghost! Wait, what did you say? Old farting... <laughs> I used to hide down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghosts to come and get us. Farting... the furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Well, that's long gone. Oh, this goes down. It might be down here. It's promising. Laundry. Hey, a laundry chute. Nice. Uh, is the ground wet? Kind of sounds like we're walking on water a little bit. All right. This looks good. Okay. What's in here? Oh! Hydraulic pump. One of these might be the furnace. What's this stuff? Jar of beans! We're having beans. There's a picture, but it won't let me pick it up. Lots of paint jars. Hydraulic pump. Furnace! Okay, something's red. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> How's it going? 
It looks real... complicated. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Uh, I guess. What does the pressure gauge read? Huh? The thing that looks like a clock. It looks 100. like... 220? Oh. What? Oh. Really? I don't like the sound of... oh. It should be more like 210 PSI. Pressure's building. You saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push the green button. It's the starter. Old farting ghost, you rank spirit. Wake up! Huh? Nothing. Just talking to an old friend. And here he is, in tip-top shape, I'd say. <laughs> you were right. The furnace is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now you've got hot water. You have no idea how grateful I am. Just doing my job. Oh, this would have led there, too. That's right back by uh, where we started. What is that? Give me some good news. Uh, just letting you know that the rooms will heat up before the hallways. I just want to go to bed. Did you find a room you feel comfortable in? Yeah, my old room. It's exactly like I left it. Leonard cleaned it, but he didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it? Exactly. How does that make you feel? They teach psych classes at FEMA. Well, just being nice. It's endearing. But I'm not 16 anymore. There's lots of other rooms in the hotel. No. I think I'll sleep just fine. Okay. Oh. Duh. Went the wrong way. Irving Crawford, FEMA. Hey. Hey! Listen, I just wanted to say, if I came across as obnoxious... No problemo. <laughs> I get it. it. Almost feels like I'm getting used to being here again. Whatever. Forget it, I'm beat, and I'm rambling. No, no, I... From the rumors that went around the valley about when you left the hotel, and all that rush, well... Right, I forgot. The Wilsonian mythology. Sorta. Now I'm just gonna chill in my room with the posters of my favorite bands, playing my old bass, totally unplugged. You play the bass? I suck. I wanted to thank you. Knowing that I'm not alone here is a huge deal. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for um, listening and not freezing to death in your car. So I owe you my life, then. Wow. It's just... Your job. I know. Night. Night. Alright. How do I... I guess we don't take a shower. I thought that's what the whole point of that was. Alright. So I guess go to bed, then. Or not. I'll sleep in my old room in the master suite. Oh, I'm here. Play the bass. All right. All right, here we go. Day two. Oh. What are we doing now? Nothing on our to-do list. Morning. Good morning, Nicole. <sighs> Get any sleep? I slept like a rock. I 
forgot my bed was so comfy. <sighs> so, any news? Uh, uh, what? Is the situation on the roads any better? Just, uh, give me a sec to get it together. Maybe I need some coffee. I didn't get any shot eye last night, and... Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at all? I thought you might need something, and... But, I... You didn't go home? Because of me? I'm a workaholic. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon. Probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory. Uh, what do you want to do? <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat first, then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. Deal. I could eat a horse right now. The baked beans will be scrumptious. Alright, so where's the pantry? Fridge, kitchen, I guess it's in the kitchen. Um, yeah, laundry room. Yeah, alright. So, kitchen was... Which way was the kitchen? I don't even remember. That's storage. Kitchen was here somewhere. Here we go. Nicole? Irving. Uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I'd just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Hmm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria and such. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't let me go in the freezer earlier. Uh, what? Achievement unlocked, freeze to death. Oh god. Hey, you kidding? Oh boy. That's what I do. I almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't Are you close. fucking with me? No. Wait, what did I say? It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. Yeah. I could have died in there. So what do I do about the food? The microwave could be useful to heat the beans. Where's the microwave? I have no idea. Is it one of these? What's what's this stuff? Oh, we got the beans, right? It won't let me go back in, so I guess so. So where's the microwave at? I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Or no. Is that a microwave? It is. Okay. Is that a metal can?
How long is this going to take? Is there something? What's down here? Of course, as soon as I fucking walk away. Alright. Mug a lunch. Uh huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. He called 911 after just a mile. Well, I might as well finish the inspection. I can do it without Jenkins. Uh, he told me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. Please. Only call me if you've got good news. Here we go. Second floor. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage too. Yeah. Wow, almost a million dollars. They canceled it. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the West Wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? Are you there? You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? Tell me something. What are you hiding from me? I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food, and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is something wrong? How should I have known that, huh? I don't know. I don't know what you know and what you don't know. But what difference does it make? None. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. Yeah? Hello? Who is this? Who the hell are you? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is this? Don't do anything stupid. 
What, you think you can call my house and threaten me? Come tell me to my face, asshole! Fun times. So, now what? Are we done looking around up here? Or? You pissed at me? You really think I'm gonna sulk like a ten-year-old brat right now? I can see why it's hard to talk about. There's still lots to clear up. There's nothing to clear up. You delivered supplies to the hotel. You met Leonard, period. You're right. I, I just assumed that your dad had told you. Whatever. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? It, it was a bad connection. W what did they want? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. What do you mean? Sounds creepy. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, a genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them. Still can't pick up this flashlight or look at this... Um, that panel. I really want to know what's in there. Day three. Hey, cutie pie. Daddy? Nicole, it's Irving. Oh, sorry. I must have fallen asleep. I haven't slept like that since I was a kid. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. About? Leonard, maybe. Okay, uh, I need you to pay attention though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Actually, the lights are acting a little weird. <sighs> I was afraid of that. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We gotta do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. That's it? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. All right. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if he left anything you can use for lighting. Oh, on my way. I can still hear that guy telling me Rachel's alive. If he calls back, go into special protocol mode. Which is? Trying to sell him a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Any news? I found a Polaroid. Family photo? Anything important? No, I mean a camera. It looks like it works. 
You want to take a photo of the generator? No, you moron. I was thinking of using the flash for lighting. Oh, smart. You can try. I had one just like this when I was 16. Leonard gave it to me. Maybe it's the same one. No way. I broke mine hiking on Hogback Mountain. I cried all day with Leonard insisting it was only an instrument used to capture images. He said, you keep the really important ones inside. Can't say he was wrong. Oh, yep. Anyway, the Polaroid's better than nothing. The light from the flash could come in handy. First floor staff area. All right. Was it that area I was talking about where I really wanted to get into? Might be. I'm not sure. We're on the first floor now, right? Hey. Okay, almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. The crawl space? That is what I've this totally is. totally forgotten that. Remember where to go? No, but I do remember the panels were really hard to open. I wasn't allowed to go in there. What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box and switch it on. All right, doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. <clears throat> I found the crawl space, and also a dynamo flashlight. Know how to use it? I think I just have to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? I don't remember the crawl space to be so narrow when the technicians went inside. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> it's called growing up, idiot. What's wrong? Your prophecy came true. The power went out. It's completely dark. Pitch black. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Uh, anyway, there should be some cables along the... Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay. Easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get to the generator room. Don't go any other way, otherwise who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I got the flashlight, sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my cable trail, whatever. I can do it. All right, yep, yeah. easy. Does it. Um, how do I get through here? It won't let me through. Okay, now it worked, what the hell? I want to ask you something. Okay, uh, go ahead. How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. Uh, yeah, from 89. I mean, did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? I found something. Another Polaroid? A lipstick. Huh. 
What's a lipstick doing here? It's... a... lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been... I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Strange someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? Are you crazy? Nicole, it's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... well... yeah. You're probably right. What the hell? It's stuck in the door. Day four. I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna have to eat soon. <clears throat> or order a pizza or something. Oh. <clears throat> Reporting is ordered, sir. You awake? Sorta. You forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, okay. Oh, I can't read the other one. Something about a pedophile. Is that her dad? Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? Uh, what are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. Oh, sorry. That's what everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second pass. There are too many gray areas. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing you did ten years ago. What do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. I'm not busy at the moment. I want to follow my instinct. I haven't done it in so long and it feels like things don't add up here. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <laughs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. Something about the high school. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? A, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was M.T. Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, e even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. Uh, I know, it's not a very reliable source. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. I thought I was the skeptical one here. So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. 
The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay, Bob, I'll hear you out. I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Huh. Yeah, that was the official version. Can't look at that one. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. He was a very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. Priests always made me nervous. Them and their invisible boss. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Hey, no, no. But even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Uh... Right. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Maybe there's been other women. I mean... From what I gather, Leonard was a sort of recluse. And don't forget, the lipstick is really old. Um, could the cold have preserved? Possibly. Anything else? One more. Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel, or Rachel is sad, or Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. Okay, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Any objections? You don't need my approval. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. But, sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me, at least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. I'll follow it to the T. Day five, achievement unlocked, is she really dead? I wonder how many days this game takes place over. I don't know if I should separate this into parts or keep going. I don't even know how long I've been recording for and I'm not using OBS so I can't, can't figure it out. Hey cutie pie, how are you? Daddy, 
Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Is it you? For real? Are you real? Their light is alive. And it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Listen, sweet bee. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you, too. Say it again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. 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 Day six. Morning. Am I interrupting? I was eating. Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Half a serving. The other half ended up in the trash. Uh, I did find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. It's, um, it's VHS of the behind-the-scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. They're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like. Uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? I'm not sure, but uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, listen for yourself. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones were better. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. Nah, I didn't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Kitchen? No. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. Oh, okay. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's it's getting. I remember that room. Right I now. said, "What's this piece of tape?" I told you no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. <gasps> Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap! You're freaking me. Holy up. shit! There it is! There it is! Where? Right there. I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear, Dad, I... Dad, stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? That's it? Yep, the tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, 
I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. It's, uh, 117, I think. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. Yeah, we actually looked at this earlier and I was like, what is through the room with the tape on the door? Why does this have tape hey, on it? I found the room. But? But someone barricaded it with an L bracket. Do what they do in movies. Bust through the door with your shoulder. Real funny. I need a screwdriver. I think I saw one around somewhere. Generator. But, uh, I don't remember where. Damn it. Probably in the basement. It seems to me I've seen one in the garage. Yeah. Was it the generator room? I'll let you know. Yeah, that's exactly where it was. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Let's go get the screwdriver. Hey, uh, found the screwdriver? No. I keep thinking about those guys, the, the ghost hunters. You sure it was an act? Sounded so natural. Awesome actors, I'll give them that. I don't I can't remember stand which the way idea to go. That my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightailed it out of there. God only knows why. Don't tell me you believe in ghosts or some bullshit like that. Well, I'm not superstitious, but if someone believes that a black cat is bad luck, then you also have to believe that something else is good luck. Huh? What are you talking about? Prayer, for example. You're saying prayer brings good luck? I doubt Reverend Foster would agree. A screwdriver. I'm out of here. Pig? What the hell? Huh. Interesting. Huh. I'm totally lost down here. Oh, look! Look at this. What's in here? Oh, it won't let me through. Oh, that's bullshit. Why can't I get through that way? Oh, come on, man. Fine, whatever. Well, we found it. Now I just need to figure out how to get to the damn thing. Get to the garage. Ugh. Can't figure out how to get there. I'm lost. Okay, thank God. All right. Uh, wait. Is it that way? Yeah, it is this way. I don't know how I got so lost. Okay, so we go this way. It's through this door over here. Screwdriver. Why is that one red? Achievement unlocked screwdriver.
Found anything interesting? Leonard's motorcycle is one of those things that I should maybe take before the sale. Oh, I love bikes. What's the make? It's a Su 400 single cylinder two stroke. Wow. You seem to know what you're talking about. Leonard and I took it apart and put it back together like 200 times, I think. You should keep it as a keepsake. I spent the last 10 years trying to eliminate every possible memory, and now I'm supposed to keep one that even requires me paying insurance? Well, it doesn't sound so bad. Insurance on memories. I think I'll sell it to some collector. Uh, if you want, I know a few in Livingston. Oh, thanks. No sweat. I'm going. Later. All right, here we go. We're going to find out what's in the green tape room. All right. Parabolic microphone. Three to equip the parabolic microphone. Do I need it? How much do you know about those TV shows? The ones about haunted houses? I know they're popular. A lot of tourism revolves around them. Did the whole Rachel story really bring them here? Everyone in town knew about her suicide. Had a bit of gossip. Ugh, so sad to see the place you grew up in go downhill. I know. I'm so sorry. Believe me. Alright, let's see what this does. Leonard the Freak. Locked up in the attic. Talking to themselves. <laughs> He's smoking the good stuff. He's missing a couple screws. Alright, so they hear a voice on the thing. Trying to get rid of interference. Still got voices. Gonna have a cigarette. this place huh so up oh, the door shut and then that was it I guess wait Okay, it shut off. All right. Hey. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Irving. Oh, uh, what did I do? He gave me a heart attack. Sorry. I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. 
Damn. Uh, what? I I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. Well, you should be. You're never going to believe it. Day seven. All right. So the ghost hunters ran off. They heard voices. We now have the uh, equipment to listen to the voices. That's interesting. Uh, why is it Christmas in here? What the fuck? Music box is going off. All right, before we continue any further, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this video here. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. We'll definitely have to do a second part. The Suicide of Rachel Foster, pretty good so far. I'm digging it. I like it. I hope you guys are too. If you are, tell that like button you want to smash. And don't forget to subscribe. You stay you. I'll stay me. Droogie forever. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Later.